The problem with American leaders is their lack of um, knowledge on how to actually create change, how to create change. And uh, I, have you ever read the book um, Deep Change by Robert Quinn? Have you read that? No. Fabulous book, by the way, for those of you <clears throat> who love conscious leadership, one of the best books that I've read on the subject. But Robert Quinn uh, was a professor at MIT who did um, uh, MIT uh, Business School, who also was a change agent in the world and did you know large scale culture mm. change, which I'm sure you've done. Yep. You've done those. Absolutely. I've done those. And of course, one of the things that they found when they researched this was 70 percent of all culture change initiatives fail. 70 percent. Okay. Now, if I was a betting person. And somebody came to me and said, hey, we want to generate a culture change, and it's going to cost you a few million dollars. If I was a betting person, I would say that that's a bad expenditure. It's a bad way to spend my money as a, as a business leader. But all these companies were doing amazing um, efforts to generate culture change and with very little success. So what Robert Quinn did was he wanted to understand why is this. So he. He went around and he interviewed over 3,000 employees at all levels of an organization, at mm -hmm. the top, in the middle, at the bottom, to find out what's the problem here. <laughs> you know, why did this culture change fail? And actually, that was the only question he asked. So he did this interview, but he didn't ask a series of questions. He asked this one question, why did this culture change fail? And he asked everybody. And here's what he heard. Well, you know, it failed because management didn't really do any of the things. They didn't, they didn't really change anything. Or they'd hear, well, the employees really didn't, we tried, but the employees didn't change anything. Or, well, leadership didn't really do anything different. So everybody was basically pointing the finger at everybody else. And what he said was that out of 3,000 people interviewed, not one person, not one, said, well, nothing changed because I didn't change. Nothing changed because I didn't do anything differently. So again, that's, to me, conscious leadership mm -hmm. is about how do you show up as a leader if you want to generate change? You know, you, of course, we know the expression, be the change, right. but really, what does that actually mean? And how do you show up as a leader that, that generates change? And then the last thing <clears throat> that they discovered, the problem with American leaders, was their lack of awareness of interconnectedness, and that they really talked about and dealt in concepts that separate divisions between things, rather than interconnectedness. And so to be a conscious leader in today's world, you know, and this is like a big, con you know, uh, John and I have had this conversation because we both run mastermind groups, but a big part of our conversation is this work on um, really the quantum universe, understanding the quantum universe and understanding neuroscience today. And when you begin to really explore this at a deep level, the way in which we are connected, the web of connection that we live in is um, quite extraordinary. And if you're going to be a leader in the world and you are not aware of the, the interconnectedness between you and everything, not just the people that you work with, but really everything in the world, then you are very limited in how you play the mm -hmm. game. So, you know, without giving a, um, a pat definition of conscious leadership, I think these are beautiful examples mm -hmm. of the elements Absolutely. of what it takes to be a conscious leader and what you need to be aware of in the world. Yourself, your interconnectedness, the values that you operate out of, and like that, yeah. Well, well, well said. Um, what you shared is very similar to how we think about it, Future Shapers, we think mm -hmm. about conscious leadership, the self-awareness piece mm -hmm. and the actions that you take based on the self-awareness. Mm -hmm. Yeah.